Good evening, Gisela. Hello, Gisela. Good evening. Good evening, Ada. Good evening, Marco. Can you listen Good to evening, me? Good evening, teacher. Kath oh, Catherine. Okay. Hello, hello, Dennis. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello buddy. Good evening. Hope you're doing you're having a good time. Okay. Let us quit a little bit for the rest of the people. Okay. Um Jocelyn is just getting into the class. And uh, well, hope you are okay and I hope that you are willing to continue learning. All right. <laughs> Because that's that's the purpose for you to be over here, right? Otherwise, uh, you were like sleeping right now. So, so the majority of people are sleeping now, but you are making a difference, right? You're making the difference because you instead of sleeping, you are learning, and that's good, right? That is good. Okay, just give me one second, please. Let me see. I need to, to, to share something with you so that we can have some review about what we studied yesterday. Let me see if there is someone. Okay, Ada says, good evening. Okay, I will take notes about it, Ada. Just give me one second, please. And also, Jocelyn, say hello to everyone. Okay, Jocelyn, I I took notes about your situation. You are coming back, right? Uh, let me see. Well, in order to in order to have some review about what we did yesterday, I will ask some of you to read the, the information. Do you remember about this letter? Do you remember about this letter, people? Can you see the letter? Yes. Yes, yes. all right. So there are some parts that are in, in different color, right? The, the, the structures in red is about present perfect. And uh, the, 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 the structures in, in, in blue are in simple past tense. So, I will ask you to read because I need to check if you are just pronouncing the vocabulary in the right way. Okay. So I will ask, uh, let me see, I have uh, Moses. Moses, could you please uh, help me to read this part? Now, everything, please. Okay. Uh, dear Miss Mo, I am interested in uh, applying for the post of junior secretary. Uh, I have recently completed a uh, BTEC in business studies uh, during my course uh, on. I went on a number of work placements. Uh, I have, I have also completed a level two uh, typing course. In my summer holidays, I worked in a small business as a training secretary. I contacted you. Uh, them during my tours and they were keen to offer my job during the summer. All right, very good. So that's uh, uh, an example that we studied yesterday, right? And we also recognize the present perfect structures, simple past statements, okay, in a same situation, right? In the same context. So as you remember, uh, you were in charge of creating a story by using both tenses. Is that right? Yes, it is, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, today we're going to do it 
Okay, so I will start with Marco. Okay, let us check the homework. Marco, Marco, go ahead with the with, with your story, please. Uh, actually, it was an experience, right? Ah, uh, yes, yes, experience. So the experience in which you are uh, supposed to provide uh, sentences in simple past and present perfect tense. Okay, let me see. Okay. Well, I have visited uh, Guatemala several times for one special occasion that I remembered very well is when I visit the Aurora Zoo around six years ago. It was a great experience. I could see for first time in my life penguins. Also, it was everything very clean, very clean and and how do you say uh, que todo está ordenado? Tidy. Sí. And also, uh, it was... also you can say that there was uh, everything was well organized. Oh yes, well everything was very very clean and well organized. All right. Organized. Let me see. Let me see more. Well, and let me see. No, that was that was everything. <laughs> that was that was it. That was it. Yes. Okay, so pretty good because you identify present perfect and also you included uh, sentences in simple past. That's what I want you to do, right? To identify those tenses. Thank you, Marco. You're welcome. Gisela, please continue. After Gisela, Dennis, please get ready, Dennis. After Dennis, Moses. My my friend and I my friend and I have gone to the university together on Thursday afternoon and we were waiting for the for the bus. It never passed, so we decided to walk. When we start walking to the bus pass, so we decided to walk to the next bus stop and wait. But at the end we were late for classes you were late for classes <laughs> okay yeah. oh that was really good he said like can you tell us about the sentence in present perfect you included in your in your experience no ya como colocarse entonces le cambié el tiempo pero Creo que no lo logré poner que puse I have gone. I have gone to the universe. Ah, oh, that's right. Okay, that's it's because you didn't include too many statements in present perfect. That's why I, I was just asking you. But that was really good, he said. Okay, if you include at least one statement in present perfect and then you continue with simple past, it's all right. But what really matters to me, as I said. Uh, as I told uh, Marco, is that you put into practice and identify both sentences, both statements in grammar. Dennis, thank you, Gisela. Okay. I have always wanted to know the snow, and just this year, I was able to do it, and a while I was here, I couldn't believe it because the snow in my hand was sometimes is only imaginings and no I was living it. In my experience it's a super incredible the the climb or the snow what in my hands uh, it is incredible. It was incredible. Yes. Tell me the statement in present perfect you included Dennis. Um wanted no, but wanted is a simple pass. I have. I have always wanted, you know. Uh, now, yes. Now, yeah. yes. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you very yeah. much. Okay, the Moses after Moses, Ricardo, and after Ricardo, Jonel. Okay, Moses. Okay. Uh, 
the experience that I will never be able uh, to forget uh, is very recent. Uh, it was exactly 11 days ago. Uh, I had never been to, to a live concert uh, and the first one I, I had the opportunity to go uh, to was my favorite artist. Uh, all my favorite songs were sung and I was very happy that I enjoyed it. All right. So the statement as, as I could listen to you is I have never been to. But it, it, I, I'm trying to clarify uh, Moses because uh, one thing is to say, nunca he estado en un concierto en vivo. Okay, fíjense bien, porque ya luego van a estudiar otro, otra estructura que se llama pasado perfecto. Okay, más bien creo que en la oración que usted incluyó es pasado perfecto. Porque decir, yo nunca he estado en un concierto en vivo es diferente a decir, yo nunca había estado en un concierto en vivo. Sin embargo, wow, amazing info. Veo que sí se esmeró, Moses. Veo que sí se esmeró. Quizás así incluir quizás una oracióncita en, en presente perfecto para que este, logremos completar la idea. No es que haya cometido algún error de gramática. No, 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 porque usó pasado perfecto, pero pasado perfecto ahorita no lo estamos estudiando. ¿Ok, Moses? But congrats, congratulations. Okay. Now, then I said, who follows? <coughs> Janelle, right? Well, Janelle seems to be like. I'm working. Uh, Janelle yeah. is working now. I'm sorry, Janelle. Okay, maybe um, later you can participate in, the, in this course. Christian, hello, Christian. Well, is there anybody else who wants to share the information? <clears throat> Otherwise, we're gonna go to the activities in the platform, okay? Today, we're, we are in church of starting about uh, since and for, since and for, okay? So if there if if there is no anybody else, we are going to continue. Okay. Let me see. I have this info. Give me one second, please. All right. Now, yes, right. Present perfect versus simple past is the, the information we started yesterday. And also, uh, we we um, solved some exercises as a group. Okay. As you remember, we uh, solved this, um, this exercise where there, there were like 10 exercises and we did it, right? So tonight, we're going to go over this part. And uh, Juan Antonio, is Juan Antonio in the class now? Now, can somebody, can somebody help me to read this info? What is the topic for tonight, people? Born scenes. Aha. Uh -huh. In this session, the use of foreign scenes will be explained throughout an audio. Know the expressions, okay? Know the expression. And we're going to see the expressions, okay? And this is what I want you to be aware of, right? The way we use a for and the way we use since, okay? Now, in, in this case, we're gonna learn about them. Um, 
uh, regarding the topic about percent perfect okay let us take a look at it tell me if you uh if you have any problem with the with the audio please hello in this session the use of for and since will be explained note the expressions for and since how long did you live in thailand i lived there for two years it was wonderful how long have you lived in miami i've lived here for six months i love it here i've lived here since last year i'm really happy here let's talk about for and since for plus period of time for six years for a week for a month for hours for two hours i have worked here for five years present perfect with four she has lived here for 20 years we have taught at this school for a long time alice has been married for three months they have been at the hotel for a week since plus a specific moment since this morning since last week since yesterday since i was a child since wednesday since two o'clock i have worked here since 1990 present perfect with since she has lived here since 1980 we have taught at this school since 1965 alice has been married since march 2nd they have been at the hotel since last tuesday all right so you see that the information is not i mean it's a short video but i think that uh, it provides a uh, great information about happy here uh, using since and for and present perfect, right? It says for a period of time, et cetera, right? And also says uh, present perfect with four. Okay, for six years, for a week, for a month, for for hours, for two hours, I have worked here for five years, et cetera. And let me see, I think he explained something about since. 20 years. All right, so since on the other hand, uh, tell us about the starting point in the past, okay? Since this morning, since the last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock, uh, since 1990. Um, since 1980, since 1965, since uh, March the second, since the last Tuesday. Okay, so the pronunciation of this word is since. Okay, since. Don't, do not, uh, do not uh, pronounce it like science. I don't know, but many people pronounce it in a wrong way. It is since, people, since. Now, now let us try to do something, okay? Let us try to do something. Uh, I will share a video. Well, actually, you have uh, some exercises in the in the in the WhatsApp group, and now I will share a video for you to create your own explanation about when to use since and for. Voy a hacer algo. Le voy a compartir un video en el grupo para que ustedes lo vean y Después de verlo, creen su propia explicación de cómo se usa since and for. ¿Les parece si lo hacemos individual o en parejas? Individual work, pair work. Individual, uh, well. ¿Cuál sería la actividad, en la actividad, ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp, acabo de compartir un video. Lo van a ver porque explica a, a, a más detalladamente cuando se usa since en, y cuando se usa for. Cuando ustedes terminen de ver ese video, van a crear su propia explicación. ¿Ok? De cómo se usa y van a crear otros ejemplos. Ejemplos que sean creados por ustedes. ¿Ok? Con uno, dos, tres ejemplos, yo estoy conforme, ¿ok? Porque eso ya me va a decir que ustedes sí ya, pues, aplican lo que estamos estudiando. 
Okay, what yeah. do you prefer to work in pairs or in, or I mean individual work? Pair work, individual work? Individual work, but I can see the video is difficult watching in the couple. Mm, individual work. Individual work. Hey, but Dennis, work. Dennis, you can see the video in the WhatsApp. I, I included the, the link in the WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you. All right. So the video is, let me see how long is the video. The video is like seven or eight minutes. Okay. And yeah, it's, no, it's five minutes. Okay. So you are going to have 10. 11 minutes to create your own information, ¿ok? Va a tener 11 minutos para ver el video y luego, y, y si ustedes prefieren irlo creando o ir creando su propia explicación, al mismo tiempo pueden hacerlo. Van a tener 11 minutos a partir de este momento, ¿ok? All right, so let us start working. Okay. Vamos a trabajar, vamos a trabajar. Al final, cuando terminen esos 11 minutos, yo voy a elegir quiénes son los que nos van a presentar la información, ¿ok? Uh, me voy a levantar dos minutitos, ya regreso. En caso alguien haga alguna pregunta, regreso en un minutito, un, uno o dos minutos. Okay, remember 10 minutes, okay, 10 minutes, and then we start.
Okay, you, you still have five minutes more. One minute. All right, so time is over. And let us see what you got about the video. The video is actually like two or three minutes about, about information and later you have a quiz, right? So about a, what I want you to tell me, it's about a, a clear idea on when to use scenes with present perfect in four. And maybe if you are, if you have gotten a couple of examples, extra examples, that would be really nice. Uh, Marco, what did you get? Okay, I get the following things. Okay, we use scenes when we want to indicate when a, an action starts. O indicar cuando una acción comenzó. Por ejemplo, I have cooked lasagna since 5 a.m. Or I have traveled to Guatemala every December since 
2019. 2019. Yes. And we use for to indicate the duration of that action. O cuánto tiempo durado sea desde que se dio esa acción, ya sea de que ya se dio y finalizó, o que cuánto tiempo, digamos, sigue durando esa acción. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo I have written, I have written reports for five years. I have taken photos for the newspaper for 12 years. All right. Uh, now, uh, Marco, if I, if I tell you, provide uh, the expression, since of four for the following uh, expressions, 10 years. 10 years, four, for 10 years. I was a child. Uh, sería since, since I was a child. Last year. Last year. Ah, since last year. Since last year. Thank you very much, Marco. You got sure. it. That was fantastic. Okay. Uh, Moses, what did you get? Eh, ok, eh, yo lo, la parte de la explicación la dejé en español. Eh, eh, puse que since eh, lo tenía que ocupar eh, o se usaba cuando tenía que especificar el momento exacto en el que ha comenzado a realizarse una actividad eh, y for lo usaba para especificar la duración de la actividad realizada. Eh, por ejemplo, en since hice el siguiente ejemplo que era eh, I have played soccer since 20 and 5. Eh, my grandmother lived in this neighborhood since eh, 1980. Since 1980. Okay, very good. Hey, Moses, what about if I ask you, or, or uh, I mean, let's try to have a similar exercise uh, like the one we have with Marco. Uh, what about if I say, I met you? Science? Since? Since I met you. My birthday. Or my birthday. Since? Uh, ten minutes. Four. Four. Okay. Thank you very much, Moses. You got it. Dennis, what do you have for the group? Hello. Hello, what did you get? And I work in uh, two examples and I and I've been I haven't I haven't been sleeping too well literally. And I use in the haven't been. I haven't been sleeping. It's sleeping too well too well literally. Too well and another, lately. And another, lately, sorry. And another example is you have been watching you have been watching TV for the last five hours. Do you think maybe it's time to get some work done? Okay, so could you please provide another example by using scenes, Dennis? Um since. I don't have idea, teacher. Sorry. No, no idea. Okay. Now, since is is the is expression we use, Dennis, uh, to talk about the starting point of an activity in the past. For example, I have studied English since two thousand fifteen. Okay. Um. I use in the phones since last since. year. Since, since, since last, since last year. year. Since last year. All right. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Ricardo, I wonder if you have something else for the group, Ricardo. Gisela? Uh, 
you also had wow i why did you get the information in spanish okay but <laughs> go ahead but since se refiere a como como mis compañeros dijeron en un tiempo en específico por, por ejemplo i have lived in the i have lived in the same house since 2001 que yo llevo viviendo en esta casa desde el 2001 mm -hmm. y en el video decía la muchacha de que es, esta palabra se puede usar tanto para pasado como presente pero no para futuro All right. Yeah, y but para... oh. okay. Go ahead, Gisela. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Y for que sería para referirnos a una duración de tiempo, como por ejemplo, I have decorated the house for Christmas for ten years. He decorado mi casa por diez años. Okay. Oh. Uh, for 10 years. Este dice que se puede usar para... Uh, se puede usar tanto en pasado como en futuro. Ah, y también dijo de que si queríamos, si no queríamos usar como la cantidad de tiempo, pudiéramos usar frases como el, por un largo tiempo, por un corto tiempo, por meses y así. Okay, he said a very good. Now, people, uh, great information. Listen, we're gonna we're gonna go over the information that the platform presents. Okay, and I have some examples over here, some exercises in order to um, practice a little bit. The more we practice, the more we um, learn. Now in here, you are going to be in charge of reading the sentences and choosing uh, between four ensigns, depending on the context, okay? Uh, but I want, I want you to participate actively in the class. Oscar, could you please uh, help me to read the first one? Oscar? Hola. Uh, can you no. please help me with the first example, with the first exercise? Uh, um, uh, sign. Uh, okay, people, listen. The pronunciation is for and scenes. Scenes. Okay, for and scenes. Now, please do me the favor to read the whole, uh, the whole sentence, uh, Oscar. Um. Fun was. In Central America, since a month last year. Okay, since a month. Okay. Now later we're gonna check if we have it in the right way or if we need to make some some arrangements. Okay. 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 Number two. Number two. Ada. Oh, let me see. Dennis, number two. Oh, okay, Rebecca wants to participate. Janelle, I could see that you are ready to, to start. Janelle. Uh, I've been a college student for almost four years. For almost four years. Okay, thank you, Janelle. Esmeralda, number three. Please help me with number three. Hey, what's going on? Let me see. Uh, well, uh, I think it's better if you if you if you participate in the class whenever you want to do it, okay? So I will start asking for volunteers. I think it's better. It works better in this group. I'm sorry, tenía el micrófono, micrófono apagado, estaba hablando. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Esmeralda, go ahead with number and three. Hiroshi has been at work um, for 6 a.m. For 6 a.m., okay, thank no. you. Uh -huh, sí, sí, sí. 
Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, the, who wants to help me with number four? Four. I have I have I haven't gone to a party for a long time. For a long time. Okay, thank you. Who wants to help me with number five? Let me see. People are wait a minute. People are okay. Ricardo, Ricardo, what about number five? Okay, another volunteer, I mean, anybody in the group? Josh? Live in Venezuela for two years as a guide. As a kid. Josh kid. lived in Venezuela for two years as a kid. Good. Uh, number Good. six. Anybody else? My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Since Monday. Thank you. Who wants to help me with number seven? Teacher, teacher, ya me estaba comiendo, por eso no puedo responder la séptima. Yeah, sure. Sure, Ricardo. Hey, enjoy your meal. Nat Natalie was Engaged, como se dice, engaged. Engage. Engaged to Danny for six months. For six months. Thank you, Ricardo. Now, anybody else who wants to help me with number eight? Hot and Valeria has been since high school. Since high school. Thank you, Janelle. Number nine. We're almost done. Then we're gonna see if we have it in the right way. We have been in class since five thirty p.m. Since five thirty. Good. And the last one, the babies. For the babies have cried for thirty minutes. For thirty minutes. All right. So. Before seeing the answers, antes de ver las respuestas, si usted sabe eh, que está correcta o no, pues me lo dice. Uh, Pam was in Central America since a month last year. Correct or incorrect? Yeah. Incorrect. Yeah. Now, now it, it needs to make sense, right? Pam eh, estuvo en Central America desde un mes el año pasado o por un mes o durante un mes por un mes por un yeah. mes all right so four, four. very good four. i've been a, a college student for almost four years correct or incorrect correct okay number three hiroshi has been at work for 6 a.m it's incorrect. incorrect. It's incorrect. So we need to have since. Okay. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Correct. Correct. Josh Correct. lived in Venezuela for two years as a kid. Correct. That's, that's correct. Uh, my parents have been on vacation since Monday. Correct. Correct. Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. All right. Patty and Valeria have been best friends since high school. All right. All right. We have been in class since 5.30 p.m. All right. And the baby have cried for 30 minutes. All right. Now let's check, people. Okay, four. Good. Now you see. Now you see, right? Okay, since four. Okay, so we did it, right? We did it. Pretty good. Now, uh, is there any question about it? ¿Hay alguna pregunta acerca de esto? Porque, pues, algunas veces es un poco confuso. Okay, por ejemplo, en la primera, pues, 
eh, la persona que lo dijo, claro, se está un poquito confuso, siempre al inicio, eh, siempre tendemos como a confundirnos. Pan was in Central America, si yo pongo since, desde un mes, entonces ya no tiene sentido. Acuérdense que since significa desde, for significa por o durante, all right? Ahí está la diferencia entre, entre ambas, ¿ok? That's it. If you don't have any question, let us move on. Uh, people, tomorrow, uh, this is about pronunciation, ¿ok? Uh, over here, we are going to uh, practice pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final T and D sounds in verse with the vowels that follow. How come? Well, let's see. Let's see the following information, okay? Let's see. Okay, so pay attention. Remember, this information is about pronunciation on linking sounds. Hi, in this lesson, we will work. Do you listen to it, people? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Yes, let's teacher. See. Let's see and let us practice, okay? The most important part of this kind of videos is that you uh, stay home and the, uh, keep your microphone off, but at the same time, you are practicing there. I mean, try to repeat. Work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. All right. So, let's see what's going on with the pronunciation. By linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Now, let us take a look at this. Listen and people. practice. Final t and d sounds. Okay, final t and d sounds in verse are linked to the vowels that follow them. Okay, uh, the clearer example is uh, in the second part, right? Uh, yes, I've already cooked it. Cooked it. Now, this is quite important because uh, when you speak naturally in English, you tend to blend sounds. As I think I have already told you that, right? Uh, I tried it. I tried it once in Miami, okay? Uh, it all depends on the pronunciation of the of the verb, uh, especially with the verb, with regular verbs. Uh, ¿Quién me dice cómo se pronuncia este verbo en pasado? Participio, este es pasado participio. Can somebody help me? I think it's cooked. Ah, uh, all right. Me, me encanta que exageren el sonido ahorita. Cuando, cuando hagamos ejercicios de, de pronunciación, vamos a tratar de exagerar un poquito, ¿ok? Cuando hablamos de manera natural, no lo hacemos, ¿verdad? No exageramos los sonidos. Pero ahorita, eh, por razones de obvias que vamos a, a, a estudiar esto, lo debemos de hacer. Cooked es la pronunciación. La ED suena como T. Esto lo tuvieron que haber visto en básico, ¿ok? En básico ya ustedes son casi, ya, ya están llegando a intermedio. Pero esto es, eh, cuando estudiaron pasado simple, tuvieron que haber estudiado las tres formas de la pronunciación de los verbos regulares especialmente. Cooked, termina en sonido T. Entonces, cuando ustedes hablen de manera natural, eh, hay algo que se llama blending sounds, o blending sounds, o link Aquí en, esa, en, este, en el video dice linked sounds, ¿ok? Eso se llama blending sound, ¿ok? Unir sonidos. 
Eh, en el ejemplo tenemos, yes, I've already cooked it. Cooked it. You don't say cooked y de ahí dicen it. No, eso no, no suena bien, ok, aunque gramaticalmente sí es correcto, pero cuando hablamos no lo decimos así, ok. I've already cooked it. On the other hand, por otro lado, tenemos el sonido de tried. El pasado participio de try es tried. Entonces, la pronunciación ya sabemos que de tried it. Tried it once in Miami. Tried it. All right. So, um, you are going to put it into practice. Whenever you have the possibility to put it into practice, do it. Cada vez que tengan la oportunidad de poner esto en práctica, háganlo, porque así se van a ir acostumbrando más y más a, a, a utilizar el idioma de una manera más, más natural. ¿Ok? Let us see. Todavía tenemos un par de minutos. Quiero que hagamos el ejercicio que... Use it. Ok, que tenemos aquí. Eh, have you ever tasted goat cheese? Have you ever cut your hair? Now, I will ask Uh, some of you to do so, okay, to ask, to answer the questions, okay? I have 12 people, let me see. Now, anybody, I think it's better, right? Volunteers. Hey, have you ever cut your hair? Have you ever cut your yes, hair? Yes, I have cut it. Yes, I've caught it. Okay, now remember, there's also, yeah, Marco, it's all right. Yes, I have caught it. It's correct. There's no any problem. But remember, we have also contracted form, right? I've, you've, he, he, sorry, she's, it's, quiv, you've, and Dave. Okay, so it's, it, it would be really nice if we put into practice contracted form also. Or you can say, no, I haven't cut it, cut it, all right? So, Marco, you've cut your hair. Uh, no, I haven't cut it. Uh, you haven't. Why not? Not. I feel it's still short. Uh, no, but have you, have you cut it by your own, by yourself? Uh, no, no, no. Not no. really? Okay. Okay, it's, it's because now... Uh, going to the barbershop, that's the easiest way, right? But if you try if you try to do it by your own, it's kind of difficult. Okay. Janelle, have you ever tasted goat cheese? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. Uh, Ricardo, have no. you ever tried Korean food? Sorry? Have you ever tried Korean food? No. No, I haven't. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Uh, okay. Moses, have you brought your dictionary today? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. Now it's very easy, right? Now you get a dictionary uh, uh, in a, in a, um, in a Play Store. And then you have a dictionary wherever you go. Uh, let me see. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet, Jocelyn? Or Gisela, have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. Okay. Um, let me see. Ha have you have you gone to the beach lately, Oscar? Um, no, I haven't. No, you haven't. Okay. Now that uh, these questions are going to be very useful tomorrow. Okay, so. Let us try to continue talking about present perfect. I mean, this this is a topic that uh, if you don't if you don't keep like practicing, like, wow, well, later you are going to uh, face some problems. Okay, este es un tema 
presente perfecto es un tema que, que debemos um, dominarlo, ¿ok? Debemos dominarlo muy bien porque este es algo que todo el tiempo se está usando. Es como el presente simple, es como los otros tiempos, ¿ok? Inglés se utiliza... Eh, es, es importante que cuando veamos un, un cierto tema, pues tengamos en la mente que eso va a estar en uso durante toda la vida, ¿ok? Es como más práctico, hay que practicarlo mucho. Ok, let's see. Solo voy a chequear, eh, chicos, eh, la, voy a chequear que no me haya equivocado con, con este, la asistencia y ya luego cerramos. Eh, por favor, terminen el, el examen final que vamos a tener un repaso al respecto, ¿ok? Ok, Claudia Lisset, David Roberto, Juan Antonio, primera vez en todo el curso que no veo a Juan Antonio, María Elena, Nelson Rodimiro, Sonia Rebeca, Stephanie Michel, Víctor Alfredo, Xiomara Elizabeth. The rest, well, you've done a great job tonight. A mí me mencionó. Esmeralda Isabel. Ah, sí. Ah, no, es que a, a, las, a las personas que no menciono, es porque ya, ya chequeé yo acá que sí, efectivamente estuvieron en, en la sesión. Ah, ay. Cada vez que yo les pregunto o les pido que participen en la clase, yo estoy con mi, con mi listita aquí, anotando que sí, efectivamente, se encuentran por acá. Ok. Um, no sé si hay alguna pregunta, alguna, uh, algo que quieran expresar. Ya prácticamente estamos por cerrar el curso, ¿ok? Pero este ha sido, ha sido pues muy, muy bonita la experiencia. Estar con ustedes ha sido muy, muy bonito, ¿ok? Y les recomiendo que nunca se den por vencidos. Never give up. Nunca se den por vencidos. Hasta que alcance su objetivo, que es volverse bilingües, entonces hasta ahí su trabajo va a haber terminado. Mientras tanto, no se desanimen. Siempre den su mejor esfuerzo, siempre traten de aprender de la mejor manera, ¿ok? Porque tarde o temprano, pues esto les, les va a beneficiar mucho, les va a traer, no se imaginan cuántos beneficios trae aprender un segundo idioma. Y no digamos un tercer idioma, ¿ok? Esto sería como oh, el punto de partida para que ustedes se animen a, pues, a luego seguir estudiando alguna otra cosa, ¿ok? Si no hay, no hay comentarios, si no hay algo más que decir, pues nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Tons of blessings. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. It's been my pleasure. My pleasure. See you. Okay, Janelle. I'm all ears. Porque casi siempre cuando ya estamos por esta fecha empiezan a decir que hay que mandar el otro. Cuando ya finalizando el otro, le piden a uno que llene el formulario, pero no han, no, no han mandado nada. No, entonces si no han mandado nada, Junel, no se preocupe, hay que esperar. Realmente no, no sé. Se... Otro de los corporativos, pero con el que fuera un ejecutivo nuevo. Y me decía que tenía que tener autorización de, 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 de mi de recursos humanos entonces me confundí y dije ¿será que es el mismo del que estoy o es otro? Mm, pues realmente yo, en el, yo, yo voy a preguntar ¿en qué momento se le va a dar seguimiento al curso? si es hoy en diciembre ok, este, yo les aviso y si no pues habría que esperar a, hasta enero uh -huh. sí. ¿de acuerdo? Porque si me pregunto pero era, era como que era para mi trabajo como que yo me voy a escribir como de parte de mi trabajo, no de forma personal. Entonces, oh. que tenía que llevar una firma de, de la persona, de mi pagador o de mi... Ok. Es decir, de corporativo, pues, que me dejó de salir. Mm, yo creo que en su momento le van, le van a hacer saber, Chanel. Yo, yo voy a estar no, no. pendiente. Oye. Bueno. Vaya, ok. 
Thanks Thank for you. doing your best effort, Janelle. Okay, good night. Good night.